This is the MGTOW Infinium here with another Infinium out and about. This Infinium out and about is entitled, It's Not a Boys Club. My brothers, I'm out here on this cloudy, rainy day. It is the end of May, and it has been a rather cool May in my area. Uh, it's kind of the coolest May I've ever experienced in this area since I've been living here. I'm out here running around uh, doing some errands. I'm here in the uh, parking lot of Harbor Freight, and there's the Burger King across the way. I don't know if you can see it through the raindrops, and that is uh, Chesapeake General Hospital. That's off in the distance. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of out of focus there. But my brothers, I want to talk to you about the MGTOW philosophy and how, because of the machinations of the feminist plantation state and the way women, women, etc., feel about us, that is considered to be a boys club, a fad that will suddenly pass away in time. My brothers, uh, those of you that are older MGTOWs may remember the cartoons that uh, were out in the, the 50s and 60s where um, you had pictures of um, boys being in a treehouse and there was a big sign across that treehouse uh, that said, no girls allowed. And of course, in that scenario, girls would eventually infiltrate that treehouse and push themselves into that treehouse, thus discovering whatever the boys were doing in that treehouse. My brothers, it may seem simplistic and kind of a way of uh, thinking that, that puts us in a lower level in terms of what women, women, etc., think about us as men. Because that's what they think about us. They think that the MGTOW philosophy is a mere fad. It is something that, of course, they try to infiltrate, they try to get into our spaces, try to figure out what we're doing, why we are not spending money on them, why we are not dating them, marrying them, cohabitating. They they think of they think of the MGTOW philosophy as a mere fad, as a passing trend. And my brothers, I would say to you that don't fall into that realm of thinking. And to every day look at what the MGTOW philosophy does for you, how it frees your life, how it allows you to live in a manner that you could not have expected to do so if you had simped out, if you had jumped the broom and gotten married, if you had gotten entangled in the cray-cray of a single mother. My brothers, it's not about just not having women, women in our lives. It is beyond that. It is far beyond that. And it is about, of course, our freedom, but it is also the type of lives that the feminist plantation state denies us and says that we cannot, as men, live freely. That's what it is about. 
And see, of course, again, women, women, etc., they have the thinking in the back of their minds that through any type of construct, whether it be sexually or just we men needing companionship, all these types of things, they think in their minds that the MGTOW philosophy is nothing more than a fad. It is nothing more than men acting like little boys. But my brothers, again, I would encourage you today to allow your critical thinking processes to put those types of thoughts out of your mind. To dismiss any criticisms of women, women, simps, cucks, who say that you are just a loser because you embrace a philosophy that totally frees you, my brothers. I would encourage you to look at what the MGTOW philosophy has done for you already. My brothers, I was thinking about this the other day, that the because of the prioritization that the MGTOW philosophy, I, I would say, forces men to do, and that is putting themselves first, by proxy of that happening, it also prioritizes the benefits, like taking care of your health, like taking care of yourself financially, like taking care of yourself spiritually. All these types of things, everything that is beneficial to you. And my brothers, I can say personally, myself, when it comes to my faith in God, it has actually encouraged me to really push forward in terms of seeking God, in terms of going forward with understanding the scriptures and that type of thing. And I would say to you again, look at what the MGTOW philosophy does for you. Look at what it it prepares you for, prepares you for your freedom, my brothers. That's what it does. My brothers, I can truly say that because of the MGTOW philosophy, I am not caught up in the entanglements, in the problems all the things that, uh, for instance, my sister's family is experiencing. Like, for instance, my uh, niece, um, she has four kids, and she is uh, currently on her third guy, and um, he is a uh, Caucasian man, and she is black. And he is a simp, and he is locked into her whims, her cray-cray, everything. That means that he is running state to state. He is doing everything uh, to support her in her cray-cray, to deal with the health bonds, two of, two of which are his, and two of which are not his. And one, uh, the ones that are not his, one is by one guy and the other is by another guy. So you have a situation where you have three dudes that are involved with this mother. And again, he gave away his freedom he gave away his everything, everything, to be chained and to be locked into something that he did not have to do so. 
And so, my brothers, again, there is no nobility in getting involved in this type of entanglement where you are in every way possible, spiritually, financially, every way possible, locked into something where it can only end in a bad way. My brothers, again, the MGTOW philosophy prevents these things. And that's what I would say to you, my brothers. It, it, it is not a fad. It is not a little boys club. It is something that keeps you out of all types of serious types of situations where you do not want to be involved in. And again, there is no nobility in being involved with these things. The going trend or uh, thought that I see these days with a lot of men who are caught up in these types of things, like my, um, my niece's husband, is that he is doing something noble. But my brothers, in reality, he is doing something which will only lead to his further enslavement. And my brothers, it is a false nobility when you fall into these types of things and you think that, like Don Quixote, you're going and fighting a windmill in, in vain and it is for no purpose. And see, that's what the MGTOW philosophy does for you. It keeps you from fighting vain battles, my brothers. It keeps you from being involved in situations which are fruitless, which are pointless. And every situation which the feminist plantation state calls as worthy as worthwhile, it is in reality, my brothers, nothing more than a trap which will destroy you. My brothers, again, consider these things, these understandings about the MGTOW philosophy every time you are attacked by women that are trying to get back into your life and they are mad at you because you will not help them out in this situation. You will not give them the keys to your home. You will not help your family who is caught up in things where they should not be caught up and you are doing everything to better yourself, to take care of yourself. My brothers, consider these things. It is not a fad. It is not a little boys club. It is not something that is a, um, a trend which will go away in a few years. It is not anything like that. I would say that because of the past few years that the MGTOW philosophy is growing exponentially. And so that also you should keep in your mind. Keep those things in your mind. And of course, look at yourself personally. Look at the benefits, even if they're small, my brothers. You are getting better as a man. Look at the things that have happened to you when you said no to being entangled only to find out that what you were about to be entangled in was a nightmare from hell. Look at those types of things. And my brothers, again, it is better to walk along a pathway to freedom alone than to be in the company of others where you have no freedom and you have no 
guidance to where you're going. You have no understanding to where you're going. Those types of things, my brothers, you should consider. And again, dismiss the criticisms, which I know, my brothers, it is not easy to do because sometimes it is it is it stings and it hurts. I know that, my brothers. And sometimes it can come from family members who you think understand you, but then you come to find out that they don't. So that's what I'm saying, my brothers. Look at it this way. Even though you may not have family that understands you, you have a company of brothers worldwide that do understand you. And that is also a consideration you should take when you think about these things. My brothers, again, the MGTOW philosophy is simple in terms of what it says, but it is powerfully important to your life and how you live your life as a free man. And my brothers, I have stated this repeatedly, you have the right as a man to live free, to be free, and to walk along a pathway to freedom. That is your right, my brothers. Again, it is not about a fad, a trend, a little boys club. It is not about how they, these women think about you. It is about your life as a free man and how you walk in this life as a free man. This is the Make Time Infinium, and this has been an Infinium Out and About. My Make Top brothers, as always, stay safe, stay strong, stay on the Make Top path, and remember, Make Top is the liberation of men's minds. Make Top cannot and will not be stopped.